And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Do you like your audio warm and mutated pedal show? My name is Gabor. <laughs> hey, welcome. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this phaser today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Thumbs up, ding the bell, all that good stuff. Yes, please, much. please, please do. And I just want to mention right from the start, this was uh, provided to us by uh, the Australian Distributors of Warm Audio Studio Connections. So uh, thank, thank you so much, Studio Connection, for sending this to us. Uh, now, Alex. G'day. The Mutation Phaser 2. Mutation? M mutation Phaser it's... 2. It's probably hard to read because of the lights and the angle of this, but it says Mutation Phaser 2 here. Uh, we, some... didn't, we didn't get a first one. It's no, just... it's just the second one. <laughs> yeah. It's a sequel. Um, but it's one of those sequels you can watch without having to watch the first. It's cool, yeah. It works. Yeah. Works. You know, on that note, it's a phaser. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're talking about a phaser. That's right. It's a phaser. I mean, by looking at it, you can tell it's sort of based on a Mutron phaser. Mm. Um, I like those kind of knobs too, sort of console style knobs. Yeah. They yeah. look cool. I like them. Um, it's big. It's built like a tank. Hear that? Uh, Come in. Reliability. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's got a big switch and a red light. Three controls, feedback, depth, and rate. Uh, yeah. And it shifts your phase in a warm, mutated sort of way. Twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clean tone through our Lanny app. Back there. From uh, Tompkins. Everything at 12 o'clock, let's yeah. just turn it on and see what happens. Should we check out the two uh, um, yes. suggested settings from the manual? Sure. Let's do some basic phasing. Basic phasing. So the frequency gets rid of that really nasally vocal thing there. Yeah. With the phasing. That funky music, white boy. <laughs> Good eye. Should we, should we try the other one? Swirly sweep phasing. So swirly sweep. We want it like that. That's swirly sweep. All the feedback. What, <laughs> you need the sock animal. What, yeah, what do you play with that sound? What don't you play with that sound? So maybe that I would maybe go a little... Turn the rate down a bit more, and just to get just to like nice moving modulation. More like a Motown thing or something. It's a nice sounding phaser. I don't think it was this particular model, but there was like an old um, country sound used phasers too. Like the real spaghetti western type stuff. There. That also reminds me of the three amigos. Yeah, exactly. I like that <laughs> yeah. uh, well, Should we quickly try Chevy Chase in the desert for some reason? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shall we check this with um, a low tune guitar? So this is um, Hel Helbert, Helbert the Helbert. 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 Um, new parts guitar with uh, parts caster concierge body, a uh, robot Graves. Really kind of cool, different but cool neck uh, by Robert Graves. Also the third 
THRD uh, tunable harmonic resin device tailpiece, a mastery bridge, and some awesome pickups by Mr. Glens. And this is the Drag, uh, Welsh for dragon, uh, or Angry Hobbit. <laughs> Angry Hobbit. <laughs> one or the other. And that's one of his Jaguar pickups behind a bridge. Um, it's a lovely sounding phaser. And this is the clean sound. Let's get phased. Middle there. It's like the sort of a, a the when they in a cop movie when you kind of do an undercover thing in the dark yeah. with with flashlights breaking into a place. Yeah. Like those um Roddy Toms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The electric. And maybe a Guiro. <laughs> Talk some <my> language. <laughs> um, that's by the way, if I do that now, there uh, it's two calls in parallel. It's a really nice sounding phaser. It's obviously a, it has history as a funk thing, but it's kind of I like the mellow stuff with it. Right? Anything you want to do with it really. I mean Should we should we maybe run it into a slightly more driven amp just to okay. see what, what it sounds like?
great. Uh, it's by the way, I, I jump at the channel, so it's a bit more gain. Jump around. Um, let's quickly, can I quickly try it with this? Uh, so, Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster, Blaster, there's a full video for it here. For here. Martin A. Smith pickups. <laughs> Seventies guitar solos, that sort of yeah. really mid forward with a bit of phaser. Sounding phaser. Cool, it's yeah. it's another one of those. Any setting sounds good on it. You can't really break it. No. Looks cool. I love that sort of look. I, I, that's I've got to say one of my. I think what this takes on. Yeah. I reckon is one of my absolute favorite all time looking brands. The old Mutron stuff. Sure. I think they're coolest looking. Love those knobs. I love how big they are and all the big. It's like. Watching all Night Rider episodes and there's everything is labelled, yeah. you know, and it's just big labels on big things, big knobs. It's just big. None of that small stuff. It's like, good. <laughs> yeah. Power yeah. Under the Super building. pursuit mode. And rocket launches under a little red button. Yeah. 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 Cap. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the. Power. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this design thing. What's that called? Cause you did some graphic design, right? Yeah. It's not mod conny thing because that's more sixties, isn't it? What's that thing? That is very 60s to me. That is a very oh, yeah? 60s, sort of 70s kind of look to me. I think it's more 70s. Yeah, no. It was 70s, yeah, I guess it's from the 70s. Don't know, but I, I love the... I just love the, the plain sort of aluminium, bent steel, whatever they were back in the days. Yeah. And then just the, the really bright colours just to label things. Yeah. Fish, Fisher-Price. Fisher-Price sort of phases. vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and all the, all the Neutron stuff was kind of like that. Mm. It had that sort of vibe to it. Um, I don't know what you would call it. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. In the uh, um, designers, ever? Yeah, um, but I like that look. I like that. I always liked it. I had a thing. For, I have a thing for that. Now and it. now I can get it without paying ridiculous amounts of money yeah. for it. And if if you're not into the collectible thing, this one's going to be brand new, reliable. Just plugs into nine. Quite points. affordable too. From yeah, yeah. And I think the old, the original ones are mains power. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. And and there's a big clunky on-off switch and. I mean, let's not even talk about true bypass and all that sort of stuff, and you know, not not degrading Hendrix, your. Hendrix didn't have true bypass. Yeah, that's why I like him. So <laughs> <Suck> Hendrix. <laughs> anyway, we'll probably get off track again. A little bit. Um, a little what bit. do you guys think of the warm um, mutated Mutron. mutation phaser two? It's really hard to see. For this yeah, the light in here is. Uh, yeah, let us know under the uh, video. There's comment section. Comments there. Please. Yes, yes, yes. Good place to and store them. Big thank you once again to uh, Paul at Studio Connections yeah, here man. in Australia, uh, who are the warm audio distributors uh, in Australia to, to send this to us. And I'm going to put up a playlist of all the warm audio things because we've done, we've did done a bunch of pedals. Yeah. Done, did, did, done. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, links below to socials, podcasts, good stuff. Check it out if you've got time. And thanks for hanging. Playlist. See you soon. Watch it. You. Watch this. You. Click.